now we'll implement, implement the update method. The update method is like modifying the existing record which is coming from the URL. So from the most data is created after some time, let's say the system want to modify the record which is coming from the front end system. So just like the create method in update also will create a record from the front end and we have to modify it by using either the update set or by using the modify syntax. But for updating the record should be there. Then only we can modify the existing record. Otherwise, if it is completely new record, then we have to go for the create method. So let's implement the update method in the service runtime artifacts, DPC accession class, double click. So if you want to see till now what are all the methods we have implemented, just click on filter button. So we can see here we have implemented three method. And now we are going to implement the fourth method that is the update method. For that, go to change mode, select the entity, click on redefine. Remove all details from here. So here also we have to first do the same thing that we need to read the record from the URL so that we can read using the same method of this interface that is the read entry data. So here also first we'll write that is the read incoming data do the data declaration and here again work area underscore entity is like er underscore entity take again gs underscore ovbak of type z o v b a k now read the incoming record follow the same steps which we have done last click on pattern and then object pattern io underscore data provider entry provider and the method that is read underscore entry data open the try and catch block to handle any kind of exceptional and here we read read underscore entity okay so here in real time whatever validations you want to perform we can do whether that record is exists or does not exist okay that all we have to do but finally our main job is update entity is to modify the record so generally what we do like we use like upset set vpak and we use the set and we add the fields which we want to modify update in the runtime or second option we simply go with the modify statement okay so here what i'm doing i'm simply adding move corresponding my work area underscore entity to gs underscore ovb okay and here Let's say I'm adding the remark as gs underscore ovp. Okay, let's modify set ovp ak from this work area that is gs underscore ovp ak. And after that, I'm adding here gs underscore ovp ak that is the remark equal to record modify success fully and I am passing back to the front-end system that is move corresponding gs underscore this is my z table not work area and I am sending back data to the url system ovp aka to the er underscore entity I will explain all code one more time 
first let me check the syntax if any error no errors are there so just activate the method first go to the chain mode now one more time i will explain the code so here we are trying to implement the update entity method so again just like create we can get only single record if you see here this is ts that is the work area structure so first we are reading the internal record in the work area underscore entity and then I'm, I have declared one more work area as per my database table I modify my database table based on the new record and adding the re uh, remark as record modify successfully put a breakpoint here external breakpoint go back click on maintain go to the HCV gateway client select the entity sets here also we can do in the similar way first face the single record so this time what I will do I will face this record only the last one which we have created so how to pass the key field bracket comma add the value close the bracket first call the get method execute add request okay here I forgot to add a comma execute so system is reading the existing record the status code is 200 and you can see the existing record is there now to update again you have to follow the same steps use as a request okay now this time for update select the put but this time we need to keep this key field as it is okay so let's modify some data here the this 50 so i will change to 55 and remark and okay now to change to remark let's say or is as it is okay i'm changing only one value here we cannot change the primary key keep in mind because this is the existing record so we have to modify only the non-primary key okay so i can pass date also i will change date also here it is 50 50 times change to 55 and this date is 35 2019 so i will modify the date also instead of 35 will make as let's say 25 okay so better just go with today's date so i'm modifying the date also of the existing record because date is not my primary key so i can still modify the record fine so what we have done first we have called the get method by passing the key field the same record we have used as a request we have changed the content which we want to modify we have selected the radio button as put while put we also need to pass the key field which is mandatory in create we have to remove this okay keep this in mind execute so successfully our breakpoint is triggered in the update underscore entity method great let's press f6 read the record so you can see okay i passed 553 so important is date because i changed the date to 2709 f5 press f6 modify the record add the remark effect see it's just 204 no content but it's green color okay so just refresh this See here, the quantity is changed to 55 and here the date is 27092019. Inside, inside it, we have seen the value is 550. That is the internal format one but when this is updated, we can see the 55. And as I change the dates, so we can see the same record with the new date. It's the record of 28. So this is how we have to do implement the update entity methods so we have done 
with the create, update, get, and get into the method. The last one, which is remaining in this code operations, is the delete. The delete one we'll see in the next session.